Broadcasting Company invites you by transcription to join the chase. There's always the hunter and the hunted, the pursuer and the pursued. It may be the voice of authority or a race with death and destruction, the most relentless of the hunters. Times when laughter is heard as counterpoint, and moments when sheer terror is the theme. But always there is the chase. And sometimes, while sitting in a chair with merely a phone in your hand, the chase can reach its climax in a matter of minutes with the course to be followed, marked out by a telephone wire that stretches between life and death. NBC is proud to present one of radio's outstanding chase stories, Long Distance, written by Harry W. Junkin and starring Jan Minor as Mrs. Leon Jacks, who is at this moment seated at the telephone in her home. But, Warden, you don't understand. After all, you're the warden of the prison. Mrs. Jacks, I... I just can't act on your say-so. You, you've left it too late. I'd like to help you, but Warden, I... try to understand. I've called the governor, but I can't get him. This letter proves that my husband didn't commit the murder. Why can't I make you see? My husband would never have been found guilty if we could have produced this letter at the trial. Mrs. Jacks, we always have these telephone calls before an execution. I, I know just how you feel. I'm, I'm terribly sorry for you, but there's nothing I can do. You didn't produce this letter at the I trial. I know we didn't produce it. That's what I'm telling you. I found it tonight, quite by accident, between the lining and the covering of my overnight bag. If we could have produced it at the trial, my husband would never have been... Well, well the case would have been dismissed. Can't you understand that you're... You're... He's innocent. You're executing an innocent man. But, Mrs. Jacks, I tell you it's not in my power. I know how you feel. Believe me, I do. But but you telephone me half an hour before an execution and start talking about some letter you found. I, I, just, I just can't do it, Mrs. Jacks. It, it's something that's out of my hands. I don't have the proper authority. Oh, you're so stupid. I tell you, this letter changes everything. At least you can delay the execution for 24 hours until you've investigated. You can't kill him, I tell you. It's monstrous, wicked. Uh, Mrs. Jacks, believe me, I, 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 I can do nothing for well, you. Well, then who can? There must be somebody. The governor. That... The governor is the only man in New York State who can stay in execution. But I tell you, I called him. He's out of town. The lieutenant governor's out of town. Everyone's out of town. And it's only half an hour until they... Mrs. Jacks, believe they... me. I, I'd like to help you, but I... But you can't do it, I tell you. You can't. He's innocent. This letter proves he's innocent. Well, Mrs. Jacks, uh, who was the appeal judge? McLean. Judge McLean. Uh, yes, well, under the circumstances, I mean, naturally, we, we do want to be just. Uh, uh, look here. If you can get Judge McLean to phone me here at the prison, I'll delay the execution 24 hours. You will? Uh, Judge McLean is the only man who can help you. I I'm sorry. All right, thanks. I'll call him. Oh. Him, him, him. Him. Him, see. McLean, McLean, McLean. Oh, here he is. Judge John C. Eldorado 50599. Eldorado 505. Five. Oh. Five. Nine. Nine. Please, God, let him be in. Answer. Oh, answer, why don't you? Please. Oh, is Judge McLean there, please? I'm sorry, he's not. He's out of town. Out of town? Uh, this is Mrs. McLean oh, speaking. May but I where is he? Well, he went to San Francisco the day before Sandy? yesterday. Who's speaking? You mean he's on a train somewhere? No, he flew out. Who is this speaking? Oh, Mrs. McLean, it's Mrs. Leon Jacks speaking. Mrs. Leon Jacks. Do you know who I am? Oh, 
Yes, yes, I Well, Mrs. McLean, you've got to help me. I don't know if you remember at the trial, there was a lot of talk about a letter which never turned up. We couldn't produce the letter that would prove that my husband was in Canada on Armistice Day and couldn't have committed the murder. Well, I've never given up looking for it, and tonight I found it. Quite by accident, it slipped down between the lining and the covering of my overnight bag. I knocked the bag down off a shelf, and it sprung open, and the letter fell out, and I... Are you listening? Yes, I'm listening. Yes, well, I, I phoned the prison for a moment. I, I was so stunned. Anyway, I uh, phoned the prison, and they told me that Judge McLean was the only man who could stop them from killing Leon. If I could just talk to Judge McLean, I mean, well, he'd recognize at once the importance of my finding this letter. The man at the prison doesn't understand that the whole prosecution rested on the fact that we couldn't produce the letter at the trial. Mrs. Jacks, when's the execution? In it. A little over 20 minutes. I've never given up. That's why I'm not at the prison with Leon. I've never stopped working to try to prove his innocence. I just got back from Canada tonight and was going out to be with him when they... And then I, I found it. Mrs. McLean, I've got to talk to your husband. Mrs. Jacks, phone him in San Francisco. He's at the Golden State Hotel. Golden State Hotel? Yes, yes. he always stays there. I'm sure you can reach him. All right, I'll try. Thanks. Please let me know if there's anything else I can do. Yes, yes, thank you. I know it'll be all right. I, I just know it will. <laughs> thank you. Goodbye. Oh, in distance. For him, Rick. Long distance. Oh. Long distance. Uh, long distance. I want to call San Francisco, the Golden State Hotel, Judge J.C. McLean. Judge J.C. McLean. That's right. Is that capital M.C., capital L.E.A.N.? That's right. Golden State Hotel, San Francisco. Yes, operator. And what is your number, madam? Uh, it's uh, Regent 49970. Regent 49970. Yes, operator. And your name, madam? Mrs. Leon Jacks. J-A-C-K-S. Thank you, madam. I will call you. Operator, this is a very important call. How long will you be? The circuits are busy, madam. I will call you. But how long will it take? It's hard to say, madam. I'll call you as soon Operator, I have to know how long this call will take. It's very urgent. It's a matter... It's very urgent. The circuits are busy west of Chicago, madam. There are several calls ahead of yours. I'll put it through as Let me speak to the chief operator, please. Yes, madam. Just a moment, please. Chief Operator, Miss Milton speaking. Operator, I'm calling San Francisco on a very urgent matter, and I, I've got to get through as quickly as possible. Whom do you wish to call in no, San Francisco? No, Operator, you don't understand. I gave all that information to the other operator. She said the circuits were busy. I just wanted to tell you why it was so important that my call be put through at once. Yes, madam. My name is Jax, Mrs. Leon Jax. My husband is Leon Jax. And your phone number, madam? What difference? It's region 49970, but operator. Region 49970. Yes, operator, my husband. I don't know whether you read the papers or not, but my husband is being executed tonight for murder. For a murder that he didn't commit. Do you understand that? Yes, madam. Well, this man in San Francisco is the only one who can stop the execution. I've uncovered quite by accident. I've uncovered new evidence. I've got to speak to Judge McLean quickly because the execution is... Wait, in 20 minutes, less than that now, and he's the only man that can make them stop. Operator, it's a matter of a man's life. Do you understand that? I'll see that your call is put through as quickly as possible. Ahead of the others? I'll do the best I can, madam. Well, may I hold the line? I'll call you, madam. Oh, all right, but hurry, operator, hurry. Please, God, let him be near a telephone. Don't let him be out. Please, God. Fifteen minutes more, oh God, help me. Please. Please, God. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Oh God, don't let them kill Leon. He didn't do it, you know, he didn't do it. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Leon never hurt anybody in his life. Please, God, let him save him. Oh, God, I, I love him so. I, oh, hello? Your call to San Francisco, madam, for Judge J. Oh, yes, McLean. yes, have you got him? There is no Mr. McLean. I mean, no oh. Judge McLean registered at the Golden State. Oh, but State operator, Hotel. he must be registered. His wife said he always stays there. Just a moment, madam. I'll check them again. Hello, operator? 
Yes, operator. Would you check that name again, please? J.C. McLean. My party is sure that Judge McLean is registered. They have no Judge McLean, operator. Oh. They have a Mr. McLean in 701 from Toledo, oh. Ohio. Oh. Uh, that's the only McLean registered. Operator. Yes, madam. That must be the right McLean. His wife told me just a minute ago that he was there. He always stays at the Golden State Hotel. Please have them check it again and hurry, operator. Just a moment, madam. Hello? <laughs> What are you doing, operator? Hello, operator. This is New York on circuit 412. Is it clear? Hello? Hello, New York. Operator, will you connect me with the room clerk of the Golden State Hotel, please? This is an urgent call. Right. Oh, hurry, hurry. What on earth are they doing? Uh, just a minute, sir, please. Hello, room clerk. Hello, sir. This is New York calling a Judge J.C. McLean. I believe you have a Mr. McLean registered from Toledo. Uh, what is the name again, operator? McLean, M-C-L-E-A-N. Yes, that's right, operator. Room 701. This is an mm. urgent call, sir. Are you sure that he is not Judge J.C. McLean of New York City? Oh, no, operator. Mr. McLean is from Toledo, all right. He um, stays here quite frequently. Operator. Just a moment, sir. Yes, madam. Uh, operator, can you find out if they sent Judge McLean to another hotel? He should have arrived sometime yesterday. Just a moment, madam. Hello, sir? Yes, operator. Sir, can you tell me if the hotel has any record of... I want to try and trace Judge McLean. If he applied for a room yesterday and you sent him to another hotel, would there be any record of that? Well, would he have a reservation, operator? Just a moment, sir. Did Judge McLean have a reservation, madam? Oh, I don't know whether he had a reservation or not. I thought if the hotel was full and they sent him someplace else, they might know where, that's all. Hello, sir? Yes, operator. My party does not know whether Judge McLean had a reservation or not. No, he didn't, operator. I have the reservation list here. There's nothing for a Judge McLean. Oh, no. Is there any way we can locate Judge McLean that you know of, sir? The call is urgent. Urgent? It's a matter of life and death. Oh. What are they doing? Hello? Hello? Operator? Oh, what's the matter? Why don't you answer me? I'm sorry, me? madam. There seems to be no way of tracing your party. Oh. Operator, what can I do? I've just got to find him. In case Judge McLean does register at the Golden State, madam, I can try in 20 minutes. 20 minutes? But I told you that... Oh, never mind. Let it go. You wish the call canceled, madam? Yes, yes. No. Oh, Mrs. McLean, please. Oh, please answer, Mrs. McLean, please. Oh. Oh. oh, God. Just a minute, sir. Just one minute, please. Oh, sir. Good evening. Rent Theater. Oh, no. Oh, dear God, help me. Help me. McLean, McLean, where is it? McLean. Here it is, El Dorado. Oh, five, oh, five, nine, nine. Again, I can't locate your husband. He's not at the hotel, not registered even. Is there any place else, any other hotel where he might be? Try my sister. It's Mrs. D.C. Elder, Cypress Drive. That's C-Y-P-R-U-S Drive, Oakland. D.C. Elder, Cypress Drive. All right, thanks. If he isn't there, she'll know where he is. Yeah. I, I can't understand why he isn't at the hotel. He always yes, stays thanks. there. Thanks, Mrs. McLean. I have to hurry. Goodbye. Chief Operator, please. Thank you, madam. Just one moment, please. Chief Operator, Miss... Uh, operator, it's Mrs. Jacks again. I have a call to San Francisco again. I, I mean, I want to put it through again. I mean, it's open. Yes, madam. It's, it's to Mrs. D.C. Elder, Cypress Drive, Oakland. D.C. Elder, is that C-Y-P-R-E-S? A U.S. Operator. C-Y-P-R-U-S, Cypress Drive. That's right, and hurry, Operator, please. Yes, madam. Hold the line, please. All right. 
Chicago. Ooh. New York calling Oakland, operator. Right. Circuit's a busy operator. Will you ring the operator? Just a moment, operator. I can take it now. <laughs> Oakland. Information, please, operator. Right. Information. Operator, the number of Mrs. D.C. Elder, Cypress Drive, mm -hmm. New York calling. Elder, just a moment, operator. Right. I have a D.C. Elder, 1138 Cypress Drive, Montclair Highland. The number is Lakers 39136. Lakers 39136. Right. Thank you, operator. Operator. Lakers 39136, New York calling operator. Lakers 39136. Mrs. D.C. Elder. Mrs. D.C. Elder. Right. You're still calling from Regent 9, no. 4970? No, no. Oh, pardon me, Regent 4997. Yes, that's right, operator. Please, please, hurry. Oh, what are they doing? Oh, hello, operator, what are they... Operator, answer me. Oh, please. Operator. We're oh. ringing Lakers 39136 for you, madam. Oh. oh, God, please. There's less than ten minutes left. Why don't they answer? Hello, operator. Lakehurst 39136 is DA operator. Oh, right, operator. Hello, madam. If they do not answer, I'm sorry. Shall I try them again in 20 minutes? No, I told you, you stupid. Oh, what's the use? Oh. <laughs> I won't. I won't give up. I'll get him. I'll get him if I have to. I don't know what. Please, Mrs. McClain. Please. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, God. Hello? Oh, Mrs. McClain, I'm nearly out of my mind. Your sister's number doesn't answer. Mrs. McClain, is there nothing I can do? Oh, Mrs. Jackson, I'm so sorry. They're, they're probably all out to dinner or cocktails or something. They're three or four hours behind our time out there. Oh, Mrs. They? McLean, what can I do? Well, there must be somebody else you can phone here. Surely they wouldn't go ahead with the execution if there was any any reasonable doubt of... Well, if there was any new evidence... I've been all through that, Mrs. McLean. I've tried to get the governor, but... Oh, what's the use? The prison authorities said that your husband was the only one. And I'm nearly out of my mind. I can't stand... Mrs. Jackson, listen. Letter. My sister has very dear friends. They live right across the street. It's just possible they might be there. Their name is Henderson. Yeah. I think it's Robert. Yes, that's right, Robert Henderson. Henderson? Yes, on Cypress Drive. Yeah. You phone them. In the meantime, I'll phone the governor's office in Albany and see if... Henderson? Possible. Yes, that's right. All right, I'll try. Long distance, please. Please. Long distance, that's it. Uh, the chief operator, please, and hurry. Yes, madam. Chief Operator, Miss Milton. Operator, speaking. this is Mrs. Jacks again. Operator, see how quickly you can get me San Francisco again. I mean, uh, Oakland, Robert Henderson. It's Mrs. Robert Henderson, Cypress Drive again, Oakland. Mrs. Robert Henderson, Cypress it's Drive. It's funny, repeat Oakland. everything. Yes, that's right. And hurry, Operator, hurry. Oh, Chicago. New York calling Oakland, Operator. Right. Mm -hmm. Line Why can't you tell him to hurry, operator? There's less than ten minutes left. It's almost time. I've told you how urgent this call is, operator. Can't they hurry it up or something? Putting your call through as quickly as possible, madam. Oakland. Information, please, operator. Right. Uh, Information. New York calling, operator. The number of Mrs. Robert Henderson, Cypress Drive. Henderson. On Cypress Drive, yes, operator. Yes, yes. yes operator. I have a Robert L. Henderson on Crosswood Road. Oh, for operator. goodness sake, how can you be so stupid? It's on Cypress Drive. Now, they're right across the street from my friend's sister. You must have them listed. Hello, operator? Yes, operator? Operator, Crosswood Road and Cypress Drive intersect. Perhaps this might be like a kitty corner from each other. Yes, yes, that's it. Street. Ring them and hurry, operator. What is the Crosswood Road number, operator? That number is Lakehurst 38197. Right. Operator. Lakehurst 38197, New York calling operator. Lakehurst 
8197. Mrs. Robert Henderson. Mrs. Robert Henderson. Right. Are you still calling from Regent 4970? Of course I'm still calling from Regent 4970. For goodness sake, stop asking me stupid questions. Don't you understand that I'm trying to save a man's life? What do they answer? Oh, God, please make them answer. There's only eight minutes left before... Hello? Oh. Hello, sir. New York calling Mrs. Robert Henderson, please. She's not in at the moment. This is Mr. Henderson. Oh, he'll do, operator. He'll do. Very well, madam. Oh, go hello. ahead, please. Hello. Hello. Uh, Mr. Henderson. Yes? Mr. Henderson, I can't go into a long story. Do you know Judge McLean? I believe his wife's sister lives across the street from you. Well, it's very urgent that I contact Judge McLean at once. Oh, yes. I know Judge McLean. Drove him to the railway station this morning. What? Yes, he caught the Southern Pacific West Coast Limited for Portland this morning. Oh, Mr. Henderson, I... I'm in terrible trouble. I, I've got to locate Judge McLean. Well, I, I don't see how you can. He took the train at 10 Mr. This Henderson, uh, my husband, he's being executed tonight for murder. For a murder he didn't commit. Judge McLean was the judge, and I, well, I found that there was a letter, a letter we couldn't find altering the trial, and I found it tonight quite by accident. And they told me at the prison that Judge McLean was the only man who could get them to put off the execution. If I don't get Judge McLean, they're going to kill Leon. And I, I'm almost sick. I, I can't talk right. Do you, do you understand me? Do you? Yes. Yes, I understand. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me think. What will I do? Oh, God, help me. I love him so. Don't die of it. Please. Uh, Mrs. Uh, what's your name? Jack. This is Leon Jackson. Listen, Jack. Mrs. Jacks, you might get him at Dunsmuir. It's a town along the line. He phoned some friend to meet him there at the station. The train stops for 15 minutes. Oh. Let's see, it's uh, 5 to 7 now. The train arrives at Dunsmuir at 6.50. It'll be there now. Try it. Dunsmuir's a small station. The train will be there now. It's worth a chance. Dunsmuir? D-U-N-S-M-U-I-R. The West Coast Limited's a train. And it's Dunsmuir, California. Try it. It's a chance. All right. All right. Hang up quickly. And thanks. Um, come, come, come. Have you finished, madam? Is, is that the Oakland operator? Yes, madam. Operator, you may not be able to do this. A, a man's life is just... Operator, can you get me the railway station at Dunsmuir, California? The railway depot. I can connect you with the Dunsmuir operator, madam. <laughs> just a moment, please. Yes, hurry. Dunsmuir. Oakland calling, operator. I have an urgent call here from New York City. Can you connect me with the railway station? Yes, operator. The number is 395. Can you connect me, operator? Yes, operator. Just a minute. <laughs> Will you just talk to anyone there? Yes, please? yes, anyone, anyone. Oh. oh, God, if you've ever helped anyone, help me now. Leon's only got three minutes left. I'll die. Depot. Hello, sir. New York calling. Oh. Go ahead. Please. Hello. Hello, who's Hello? this? Is there a train in there now, the West Coast Limited? Well, I would... who is Listen, it? whoever you are, listen. This is a terribly urgent call. I've got to locate a man who's on the... Did the West Coast Limited just come in there to Portland? Well, the West Coast Limited yes. is here now, ma'am. Oh. Just come in, leave well, again in no, nine listen. minutes. There's Next a Judge stop. McLean. Have you got that, McLean? McLean? Judge McLean. Yes, yes. Well, he's on the tra I mean, he's in the station somewhere. He was meeting a friend of his who lives in Dunmore. Listen, if you can get Judge McLean to the phone, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you a thousand dollars. Uh, what was that, lady? What's that about a thousand dollars? Listen to dollars? me, McLean. Have you got that? Yes, you said that, McLean. Judge McLean, yes. Yes, so tell Judge him, McLean. Tell him, say that a, a letter, tell him his wife's been killed, but get him. Okay, lady, I'll try. Uh, Judge McLean, urgent call for Judge McLean. I'll get him. Judge McLean. All right. What's he doing? Oh, Leon. Leon, it's too late. They started doing it. It's too late. They've killed you. They've done it. Oh, God, make them wait just a little longer. Please, God, make them wait. Don't let them do it. Just five minutes more, God. Make their clock slow, God, anything to save him. Save him. I, I... Hello? Oh. Hello. Hello. Judge 
Judge McClain. Yes, yes, this is Judge McClain. Oh. Who is it? Where's my wife? Judge I... McClain, there's nothing wrong with your wife. This is Mrs. Leon Jacks. Judge, I found the letter. You know the letter, the one we couldn't find at the trial. It proves Leon and Hilliard were in Montreal. That uh, you know. The uh, letter. Well, just listen, you mean... Judge. They're executing Leon tonight, right now. It may even be too late. You know what this letter means? The whole prosecution rested on the fact that we couldn't produce it. Well, I found it tonight. Quite by accident, do you understand? It proves Leon is innocent. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, of course I understand. Yes. Uh, what time was the execution? Now. Eleven o'clock. They're doing it right now, this very moment. Get off the phone. I'll call the prison at once. Get off the phone. Oh. <laughs> it's too late. They've done it and I killed him. I should have found it before. Oh, Leon. Leon. I should have found it before. Oh, Leon. 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 need to tell me I know. You killed him. You killed the only man I... Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Oh. Oh. Hello. In the animal world, there is the hunter and the hunted. Hound and fox, hawk and sparrow, cat and mouse. We in the topmost species have also joined the hunt. But who is to judge precisely which of us are hounds or foxes as we enter the chase? The Chase was created for the National Broadcasting Company by Lawrence Klee. Tonight's script was written by Harry W. Junkin and starred Jan Miner as Mrs. Leon Jacks. Also in tonight's cast were Connie Lemke, John McGovern, Abby Lewis, Pat Hosley, Bill Lipton, Martha Barron, Sylvia Davis, Sylvia Lee, Mildred Clinton, Cliff Owen, Rosemary Murphy, and Eugene Leonard. The chase was directed and transcribed by Edward King. Fred Collins speaking. Next week, a predatory woman pursues fame and fortune with no holds barred and no quarter given in the chase. In this national election year, one obligation of citizenship heads all the rest the obligation of every qualified voter to go to the polls and vote. The ballot which you will receive this year is a symbol of your personal dignity. On election day, you will have as much power, as much responsibility in the shaping of your country and your way of life as the wealthiest or most influential person.